One fun thing about Janet is that she always brings donuts to set and they are the most delicious donuts you've ever had in your life. And today we're gonna make you look like a donut, a little glazed donut. <laughs> Hey there, everyone. I'm Helen, and I am joined today by Janet. Hi, I'm Janet. I'm a producer for the social videos. And Janet really does it all. So for Random Acts of Kindness Day, we really wanted to treat you. Kick your feet up, relax. You're normally busybody all around the studio, <laughs> so we're gonna give you a little bit of R&R. &R. All right, to kick off this look, I really want to set the mood. Um, I have picked out a gorgeous fragrance. This is the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. I love this fragrance. It makes me th always think of you, Janet, because you love doing floral arrangements I on do. the side. It has like gardenia and jasmine and pear, which I think the pear really makes a big difference. Okay, so I'm going to kick off this look by using a little bit of the Tatcha water cream. I don't know if you've tried this. I do, I use it. Oh, you use it? Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. this is great. It's also one of my go-tos. Mm -hmm. I love it, it just feels really luxe. It has this really nice spatula to take it out um, in a hygienic way, and it just feels like a big drink of water for your skin. It's so good for summer because it's light but super moisturizing. Totally. We can all just take a little bit of time in the morning to give ourselves just a little bit of TLC. All right, next I'm going to use this Complexion Enhancing Skin Tint by Ami Kole. I love this. It is like a really gorgeous skin tint that truly does just enhance your natural skin. You have gorgeous skin. So Thank I'm you. actually gonna just apply this with my fingers. And what I like about this is it flexes quite a lot. So you can see it's a little bit more tan than your skin. It'll probably give me a nice glow. Yeah, and this is a new black owned brand, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, because they focus on like melanin rich tones. And I love how it just lets a little bit of the freckles show through. It feels pretty dewy as well. Yes, totally. Mm -hmm. Another reason why I picked this skin tint is because mm -hmm. I feel like your life is so busy that you just want something you can kind of throw on with your fingers really fast. It's true, like especially if I have to be on set, um, Call times are really early, yes. so like 7 a.m. is a norm. So I don't have too much time in the morning to you know, spend on makeup. So that's really great that this is super easy to put on and just like spread on. Yeah, yeah. it's super fast. You yeah. don't need like a lot of tools to do it. Beautiful. All right, and one of my favorite things to do when you have a really busy schedule is mm -hmm. to just strategically conceal. Usually you don't need a lot of coverage. Um, I really like this Kosas concealer. This one is the mini one, which is great for like on the go travel bags. You just throw it in. Yeah, it's a good size. I love it. And I this is the shade 4C. And we're just gonna do a little bit just under your eye and where you need a little bit more coverage. Yeah, I never um, know where to put it under my eye, like how far down to go. I mm -hmm. feel like this is something that gets asked all the time. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of times the old school way was to like do a huge triangle underneath yeah. your eye and you just don't need that much <laughs> concealer. No one needs that much concealer. Mm -hmm. So um, I like to just strategically conceal. So usually okay. I focus it just where you have the deeper um, spot. So usually people have like a little bit of darkness on the inner corner and then kind of right underneath your eye okay, too. So, so not all the way out. underneath, but yeah. And then you can definitely use a brush or your finger to just kind of dab it okay. and make it blend in with your skin. I love using fingers. I feel like fingers can make things look a lot like your skin. And then I like to give you a little bit of lift just coming from the outer corner and you can really see the difference between the two. And what type of brush, concealer brush, should you use under, for under eye? So I love to use something like this. This is the number 13 Pro Shadow Brush, but I it's something that. like a little flat and fluffy. It'll give you a lot of coverage quickly. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of highlighter. This one is from Rare Beauty. I just really like it. You've seen this in a million videos. We yeah. just love this product. It really gives you that extra shine to your skin, and a dot is really all you need. And this one is in the shade Enlighten. So it's a cream. It's a, yeah, it's like this liquidy cream. It has this really nice high shine. Again, I'm gonna use my fingers to kind of apply it. It's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. She had to be here early today because she was talent for Did me. Did not have time for have donuts time. today. So we will bring you the donuts by giving you this glazed effect to your skin. And then I like to do a tiny bit on the inner corners. All right, let's show off this fully iced skinned camera. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Turn this way. 
so pretty. You can see it adds just a little extra highlight to these cheeks. So why a cream or a liquid versus a powder? I love that question. So mm. I think we should talk about it when it comes to this blush because it has both in it. So it has mm. the Patrick Ta has the cream blush as well as the powder to put over top. Okay. I feel like artists love to layer because it lasts a lot longer, mm. which is essential if you have a job where you're not really having time to touch up throughout the I day. I do not have time exactly. to touch up. Exactly, so <laughs> let's do this. So I'm going to use this number 47 brush and just apply a nice thin layer of this cream. And creams are really nice because they blend really easily. Mm -hmm. You can take them off and on. So like if you go overboard with your blush, you can easily sort of sweep it away. So it's very easy to apply, kind of mistake proof. You can see that, it gives you that super duper pink glow right off the bat. And I feel like you can concentrate them exactly where you want. Mm -hmm. So I like to give it like a brighter effect here, almost like that halo. So it's brighter here and then softened on the outer edges here. Seems like it would be a good just like addition after the skin tint because it's all so like blendy and skin-like, right? Absolutely. It's just all melding very easily together. Mm -hmm. And then when you do the powder over top, it's really going to set it all in place and make it so you don't have to reapply throughout the day. And does the powder make it bright? Like, does it add more color? It does. Okay. It totally adds a little bit more color. And okay. then you can always soften after um, with like a brush when you're done with all of your applications. Mm -hmm. I love to just take a brush at the end and soften everything. So I'm gonna add a little bit more the pink using a different brush. And I'm going to layer this powder right over top. It sort of sets that in place. So mm -hmm. when you do have those long shoot days, the 12 hour days where you really don't have time to, you know, touch up, where you're really focused on more on the monitor than you are in the mirror, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, this can really last and make everything stay in place. I'm so excited for you to do my shadow because I'm so out of practice with shadow during COVID. Oh gosh, right? I barely wore any makeup. So yeah, yeah I feel I can't like you normally see. wear like cream, like creams or like um, liners. Yeah. I'll just do like a basic liner and okay. then maybe dab a little bit of cream shadow. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to be a little bit of a departure from that. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette and I just really like it. This one's in Pillow Talk and we are going to give you that sort of like liner enhanced look okay. with this brown tone. Oh. Um, but then we're going to keep it really soft with these other tones. So it sounds like it'll be pretty natural. Yeah. I think it's going to be really natural. It's going to look really beautiful on you. And I'm going to give you just a little bit of this definition on the outer edges can really give you a bit of a lift. Yeah, I never know how to do the eyeliner to give that lift because um, my eyes are slightly downturned, so definitely want to learn where to place the, the shadow and the liners so that it gives that lift. Normally, I'll just take it from like this bottom lash line and mm. pull it up because if you do it too high up, you won't be able to even see the liner or it'll look broken. And the more you go towards your end of your brow, the better. So this gives you just a little bit and now we're gonna add extra shine. I'm gonna use this matte pink tone just to give you a little bit extra on your lid. Janet, you do so much around this studio. I feel like you're just always running around. You're basically like the herder of cats. <laughs> um, we always like get all of our scheduling from you. You always like help to cast talent. You help with everything. So I feel like this is just the least we can do for you. It just feels nice to be on set and not behind the scenes and yeah, get your makeup I love done. it, it's, yeah, exactly. It's, it's nice. So cute. Okay, next. Top it off with this extra shimmery number. Okay. Right here. And this isn't too much for daytime. I, I mean, <laughs> we're treating ourselves today. It, I love this. I actually think that a lot of the shimmers that they do, just because they're a lighter tone, it's yeah. not really like, it's like a daytime, springtime You have look. some shimmer on. I am obsessed with shimmer personally. <laughs> I wear shimmer all the time. So yeah. um, I, I feel like if you want to wear shimmer, you should. And I'm going to focus this on the inner corner here. It is okay. a, the same tone as that matte pink that we put on before. Mm -hmm. But what I love about these is that they kind of spread out really nicely. It's adding that extra little something to the look as opposed to just being like a plain matte. Okay. This is such a beautiful, just like a little kiss of sparkle. It's really gorgeous for day. 
All right, I'm going to finish off your look by using something new from LYS. This is the Speak Love lipsticks. This just feels so chic. The packaging is amazing. I love this tone. It's like that peachy tone. I feel like you wear a lot of peachy tones. I do. I was like, it was calling to me. I was like, this is a Janet color. It's so stunning. I love this thin tube because it can give you that defined cupid bow in no time at all. You just basically stamp it on almost and then you can blend from there. I like to finish this off with a brush just to make sure that everything has blended in nicely and that there's no excess. It's just kind of like a makeup artist's touch. All right, let's lock this in. This is the Rare Beauty Setting Spray. This is just a really nice way to finish it all off. So close for me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do like a whipped cream sort of motion. And that really sets it all in place. That feels so good. Doesn't it? It's so refreshing. It kind of like locks it all in too. It's refreshing, but it yeah. also has purpose. All right, Jana, are you ready to see it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the big reveal. Ooh, I love it. It's different from what I normally do, yeah. but it gives some color. And I think that this is nice for just like, you know, a busy shoot day. Yeah, I feel like it's just like the perfect thing for you. It gives you just a little bit of color. It looks very you because it mm -hmm. has like those peachy pinky tones, but it's just a little bit of a departure from what you do every day. Yeah, I love it. And I still smell the perfume. Right? It smells so good. Oh my gosh, I love yeah. that you said that <laughs> because we all appreciate you so much here that we wanted to give you your very own Gucci Flora fragrance. Oh my God, you guys, this is so sweet. We so appreciate you and I thank you for it. all you do. You work so hard for us. Oh, I love it. Thank you. We love you too. We love you. <laughs> Okay, so Jana, I've been wanting to do your makeup for such a long time. Just as an appreciation, you've just done so much for all of us. So thank you. Thank you. So You're much. a gorgeous model, as I knew you would be. And just remember to go out there and spread some kindness today. And until next time, bye, everybody. Bye.